this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's a lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver! Today it's going to be just William and I today, but I have good faith that we are going to do amazing work today, and that is because uh, we're going to be working to together to begin, and uh, hopefully do a good amount of progress on an entirely uh, brand new minigame which we're going to be building over in the, the fun land. But of course, I need to first eat an entirely brand new cake. Nom 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 nom. I need to, to get a not entirely brand new dog to, to stand up and uh, following me. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go down to the, the live garden. We can go and add someone to it. And then, of course, I mean, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in the teleporter. We're going to get to the fun land. I'll explain what the new mini game is, which is one that I'm really excited about. There's also another one that I've done behind the scenes for as well. If uh, all of you the uh, that like the behind the scenes, that will be coming up uh, as well. But yeah, first to the live garden, I'm going to add Alpaca. And I'm not adding a literal Alpaca. I'm adding someone whose username is Alpaca. And that's because they made this card. And it's basically like a Pokemon. Pokemon card, but Stampy Cat, and it's called like Stampion, and you can see its special moves like Cake Bomb, and the, the googly attack and stuff as well, and there's so much detail, and the drawing is amazing. I thought it was incredible, so thank you so much for spending the, the time doing that alpaca, and welcome to my love garden. Alright then, let's go and uh, head to the, the doghouse, and uh, we can choose which doggy is going to, to be joining us throughout the, the episode, and then yeah, as I said, uh, we're going to be doing this brand new game, and it's a game that I've been wanting to do, and I've even mentioned uh, for my eagle eagle eared viewers <laughs> that's probably not a good comparison it's supposed to be eagle eyes because um they're good at seeing maybe my elephant eared viewers <laughs> Because elephants have big ears and can hear, maybe. Uh, yeah, you may recognise it uh, when I explain what the idea is. And uh, Luna, uh, you can join us today. And uh, the idea is basically, it's going to be like Enderpearl Golf. And I've been wanting to do em Enderpearl Golf for ages. Originally, it was going to be really big and go like all over my entire fun land. But every time I tried to design it, it just didn't work very well. And it was just never very much fun. And so I've come up with a way to make it, to make it dynamic. That sounds like a good sales pitchy word, doesn't it? I'll come up with a really natural and fluid and dynamic way to, to do some enderpearl golf. So, yeah, that will all be explained in just one moment. But first, uh, let me go into my you but there teleporter and head over to the fun land. So we need button at number two, and uh, that will get us over to the, the fun land in absolutely in no time at all. All right, then, I should be at the, the fun land now, so let's stop... <laughs> spinning in a circle. And let me go and I'll show you where we're building. So we're just building behind the, um, oh, is it like find the string game? This guy, I never remember the name. Drenched! Drenched! I was gonna say I never remember the name. Then I remembered the name and contradicted myself. In that case, does that make me wrong? <laughs> Am I wrong because I was right? Anyway, so we're building here and there's a few reasons we're building here and basically it's because the, uh, the colour scheme doesn't match with anything else and also it fits in perfectly. Can we just have a moment to appreciate how satisfying it is how everything fits in here like we have this game here which fits in on all sides and we just built that game and like everything just keeps fitting in perfectly recently and it just makes me so happy and it fits in pretty much perfectly here so it's 21 blocks along which fits in two blocks away from the path and two blocks away from this game i did make it so the the path entering the game is a little bit longer just because I wanted it to, to fit in, but I just pretending that I wanted a fancy path so this uh little poppy down here marks the um the, the very middle of the, the area, and basically this game is going to be in the shape of a big circle. So uh, it needs to be seven blocks along here, so I need to go one, two, three this way, and then one, two, three uh, in this direction, and then we go out by two like this, and then we go diagonal by three, and then we go across by two, and this should line us up two blocks away, looks like it does, and then yep, we now go across by seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and basically do the same again. So we go two, and then we go three, and then we go two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As you can see, we're a little bit away from the, the path, but that's okay. As I said, we'll just make a bit of a, a fancy pattern and pretend it was all intentional. That's the, the plan, and so... Oh, look at that! That is beautiful. It fits in perfectly. So right then, I'm going to go and start building up the, the walls. You can, uh, you do what you do best, William. I don't need to, to tell you twice. You go and start digging. And then I'll explain a little bit more about the way this game's going to work. So, one of the problems with the, uh, my idea of Enderpole Golf is that every time you play it, it would be the same. It's like, say if I'm, you know, the idea was, was that you start off on, like, on the roof of a mini game, and you'd be like, right, I'm up there, and then you need to get to there, and then to around there. The problem is, is once you've played it once, you can just kind of learn exactly how you need to throw the ender pearl, because it's always the same every time. So, as I said, I wanted to come up with a, a dynamic <laughs> way to play the game, where it changes every time. So, I've decided to combine ender pearl golf with boats. So, basically, the idea is, is there's going to be a platform, which is going to be really, really high up in the, the sky and made out of glass. So, right 
right above where we are building now. Uh, there's going to be a big glass platform. Two players will go up there and they place a bunch of boats of different types. One might be a, oh, <laughs> we've, we've made a discovery. One might be a, a spruce boat and one might be like a, a birch boat uh, or something. And the idea is, is that you scatter them around and then there's going to be a little bit that we're going to build in a moment in the middle where there's going to be a, a patch of water. You stand in there and you throw the ender pearl up. So it kind of needs to, to loop around. So let me give an example. So say like the platforms above me up here. I need to do it so it goes up like this. So you throw it really steep. Then it will kind of go forward and so it lands on the platform and you need to try and land as close as you can uh, to one of the opponent's boats. If you're in range so you can kind of click on the boat to sit in it, then that counts as a point and you basically sit in it. Also, if you're in range of any of your own boats, then that means you can break them away. So if without moving, if you can punch your boats and destroy them, then you can do that. And so you're basically kind of taking away a possible target for the other person. So what that means is you have a choice. So when you're setting up the boats, you could try and put the boats close together to give yourself a chance to, to you know, to try and break away a boat and go in a boat. Or you might try and spread them out just to, to make sure someone can't break away your boat. So there's strategy in the, the setting up of the, the game. And then when you're you're playing it, their strategy in terms of which boat do you want to, to go for, and then also just the, the skill of trying to, to get the ender pole to land perfectly, which is really, really difficult, because it's basically going to be a big circle like here, like exactly the, the same shape up high, with just a little hole in the middle of it, and you need to, to throw it so the ender pole goes in the hole and then lands where you want it to, and you can accidentally throw it too far and go over the platform or not high enough and land back down when you started. Basically, it's not going to be an easy game to, to play, and so that way, every time you play it, it's going to be difficult, uh, dif different and difficult, and that basically solved my my problem of the the ender pole ga golf game being a good idea i like the idea of it uh, but hopefully it's just going to be a little bit more fun anyway uh, before we build the inside let me go and add in my fancy path just because i want to show you my fancy path and <laughs> my justification of having a, a really big path basically i came up with a pattern it goes like purple purple yeah purple and yellow and then a little bit of blue is the the color scheme we're we're going for to today is the the idea so it's going to be yellow here here and here and then there's just basically going to be a circle of purple around there and then these corners. This is basically the color scheme. Mainly it's going to be the, the purple and the, the yellow, but the light blue, it just fits in. Isn't this just a nice combination? You fit in perfectly, by the way. I feel like I've let the, the team down by not being color coordinated. You always do a good job of that. And William always knows what we're building and always makes sure he's going to fit in. It's almost as if he's like camouflaging for some reason with uh, whatever we're building. <laughs> right then, uh, there's also going to be a little bit of, uh, of light blue around the, the outside here. Originally, when I was designing it and as I did say I did do a behind the scenes if you want to kind of follow the the progress it was actually really easy because I had the idea of the the ender pole golf anyway I kind of like came up with this idea and normally what happens is I come up with an idea I test it and it's rubbish <laughs> it's broken for whatever reason it doesn't work and then I change it and improve it and basically end up with something that I think is uh, is good enough uh, to be added to my lovely world with this one I came up with an idea and then I built it and that's it. <laughs> and now I'm and now I'm building it again here in my lovely world. It really just didn't change at all from the the first time I designed it. Apart from just kind of like the colors changed a little bit and like the height of the tower changed. But normally it would be like a case of you know I got an idea where you got to bounce across some boats and then you got to land in a pot or something and then it eventually ends up being a game of hide and seek. <laughs> it just completely changes. This one this one didn't do that. This one stayed uh, pretty much the the same throughout my whole time designing it, which is probably a little bit less interesting for when I'm designing, but. It certainly made things a whole lot easier for for me. So, right then, let's just uh, let's just fill in all of this ground as as it is at the moment, William. I know it's going to change a little bit because there is kind of like a a higher up area in the the middle. Uh, so the reason there's going to be the pot of water, uh, one is just to to kind of. Um, slow you down a little bit when you're throwing the, the ender pearls, I guess, just so you can kind of steady your throw. Also, you can kind of jump and swim in the water, which can kind of change the way that you uh, you throw it a little bit. Uh, also, it's going to be a safe way to get down. So there's going to be uh, big columns along the outside, which are going to be kind of holding the entire thing up. Well, looking like they're holding the entire thing up. Let's be honest, this is Minecraft. Anything can float. <laughs> Apart from sand and concrete. Uh, so yeah, basically, and gravel. Uh, yeah, so basically it's going to be high up in the sky and there's going to be big columns. And there's two Two ways to get up. One, there are the ladders. 
Uh, two, there's going to be the Ender Pearls, and uh, the Ender Pearls will probably be slightly quicker, but also slightly um, more difficult to land up on the, the top. And then to get down, basically, you can just drop down the, the middle and land into the, the pot of water. So basically, what I need to, to do now uh, is build a, uh, a kind of a, um, a pit of water here and then build up the, the rest of these walls. So these are going to be uh, built up uh, once again with the, the yellow. And let me just work out, it needs to be one, two, three, and then on the fourth block. So we go one, two, three, and then it should be here. And let me just test this out. So these should be uh, three along, and basically we're going to make another little circle. So we go one, two, three here, and then we go across by two, and then, yep, uh, William's kind of carrying on on that side. Across by two, and then one, two, three, and then across by two there. And there we go. This is the, the shape that this is going to be. So all of this ground here, uh, this isn't really used for much. This is I guess this is like the observer perch. Uh, because it is going to be just a two-player game, you could probably make it a four-player game, but mainly it's going to be a two-player game. This can be where everyone else can kind of crane their necks looking up while the two people that are playing are playing. And yeah, good idea, William. You go and dig that away. Uh, while you do that, let me go and uh, build around here. So basically, we're going to use the, the same pattern that we did in the walls on the outside, but reverse it. So this time, we're going to have yellow uh, along the, the bottom, and then we're going to have one little stripe or layer of uh, purple in the, the middle, and then yellow back on the, the top as well. And then we can go and add our little smattering of the, the light blue as well, just because I think that fits in quite nicely. And then once again, we're going to switch around the, the color scheme on the, the floor as well. Uh, but under the floor, it's going to be quite hidden because the entire area is going to be filled in with uh, with water uh, it's going to be kind of hard to see exactly what color it's supposed to be there and then basically the the higher up area which we're not going to do today out of glass is going to be kind of following the the same kind of pattern and color scheme that we have down here just to make the the entire thing look complete so this side here will have the the doorway which is where you're going to, to enter uh, i'm going to write down like a, a sign or something uh, just to keep all of the the, the water in place because otherwise the, <laughs> it would all spill out and it'd be very soggy and very difficult to get in the game and that wouldn't be very good for, for anyone so uh, yeah, I will go and add that in later before we add in the, the water. Uh, but first things first, uh, let's go and add in the, the floor. So we're actually going to use... Um light blue uh, going in from all of the, the corners like this and then there's going to be one block of yellow uh, which is going to be in the, the very middle so let's just go and add that in now, that's going to be yellow there and this is going to be light blue here like this and then the, the rest is going to be filled in with purple so once again, kind of just switching it around the, the general colour scheme that we had on the outside not that it matters too much because all of this is going to be filled in with, uh, with water in a moment and oh wait a minute, this is wrong this is wrong, <laughs> we, di we didn't need to dig I'm sorry William, you were too eager <laughs> the whole thing is the water's on this level because otherwise you have to keep jumping up and down. So let's use this as a template. That was our that was our rehearsal, and the rehearsal went really well. So let's go and do this. Oh, do you know what this will be? If someone like digs under the ground, it will be like they've found like hidden tiles. You know when like they're excavating, and, like an archaeologist finds like a, like a hidden mosaic that's been under the ground for years. That's what it's going to be like. Someone's going to dig like from under here, and they're going to find like a, a hidden mosaic, even though it's going to be exactly the the same of what was on the, the surface anyway. So yeah, William, we just build what we just built, but build it one higher up. Uh, so the water's going to be on the, the same level as you uh, as you walk in. So if you fill in the, the rest of those little gaps, if you run out of concrete, dig them up from our hidden layer underneath the, the ground. And then I'll go and add in the, the sign that I said about, and I will put that down there. And then if I just make myself a, a quick little infinite water source, then we can go and uh, fill in the, the middle bit. And then we've pretty much got everything that I wanted to do today. And I wanted to, to get this all done pretty quick because I wanted to do a test ago. I wanted to see just how accurate we were at trying to get an ender pearl to, to land where we want it to land because I'm normally really bad at it. I'm really like, yeah, I'm like really bad at adjusting as well. Like I'll throw the, the first one and I'll end up like getting it completely wrong. And then I'll throw the other one and I'll be like just as wrong, but like from the, the opposite way round. <laughs> so I've always just been really bad at that stuff. So uh, let's go and fill this. No, you can have a, a bucket as well if you want, William. Uh, luckily with the way that water works now, it's actually pretty quick to, to fill in these places. I don't know how many of you remember, but it used to be so painful. Like you used to have to like basically fill in every single block. But now like the game kind of like realizes what your are you're trying to, to do and kind of fills it all in for you. The annoying thing is just like the, the currents. Let me try and, yeah, fill in the, the stuff around the doorway first might make it easier just to be able to walk in there. I said about how much better it is now, but now it's just taking <laughs> absolutely ages of not being filled in. It might be easier just to jump up here and then you don't need to, to go and actually go down. There we go. It started filling in a, a nice bit down there. Let's go and grab a, another bucket and then I think just one more right by the, the doorway. There we go. There it is there, completely filled in. So let's just go and get rid of uh, all of this and go and break away the, the dirt. And so, yeah, this is actually... 
I know we haven't done much because it's a relatively simple game, but this is pretty much the main body of the, the game. We then basically build the same floor like this, but high up in the, the sky, I made out of glass and then all of the, the big columns. It's really high up, by the way. It's like 19 blocks high from the, the ground. So it is going to end up being uh, pretty much taller than... I think this might be slightly shorter than that big tap, but it's going to be definitely one of the, the bigger things uh, in the, the area. Right then, William, let's have a, a test to go, though. Let's make... Uh, let me make uh, a few boats and then we'll see who is able to, to land closer. So... Uh, there's one boat. Let me go and make some more of the, the oars, aka the, the shovels. And then let me go and make another boat. It used to be so much easier. Do you remember the good old days when you just made a big wooden bathtub and you called that a boat and called it a day? <laughs> right, you have that there. You can have a, one of these ender pearls. And uh, we could do it inside of here, actually. Let's say... You go inside, you can place a boat anywhere you want inside of this area here. And we just need to remember whose boat's who. And we need to land as close as we can to the other person's boat. So I'm going to put my one. I'm going to put it right in the middle. I'm going to put it right on top of this on top of this chest here. So that's where you need to try and land. You need to try and land right in the, the very middle. And you need to not move when you land. And you've got to see whether you can go and sit in the boat in the, the middle. I need to go and try and do it for the lime green one. So you have to throw the, the ender pearl from the, the outside. So let's make sure I only grab one of them uh, so I don't end up throwing too many and let's see uh, it's going to be quite different because in the actual game you're going to be doing it where it's higher up which I think is actually going to make it more difficult so let's see this as, as, as a test to go and let's see if I can get close enough to that boat to jump into it I think if I throw it really high only slightly forward might be enough for me to, to land close enough to, to get inside of it uh, or where's it going oh no that wasn't far enough that was not far enough at all. Let's see where I'm going to land. Okay. Oh, so close. So close. You need to be... How many blocks do you need to be to get in them? One, two, like... I think like three. I think three is about the, the limit. Anyway, William, if you haven't already, throw your, your ender pearl and let's see uh, how close you're... Oh, he's thrown it. He's thrown it. Oh, he threw his too far. Okay, he threw his too far and I threw mine not far enough. Let's have another go. There's uh, another ender pearl for you down there, William. It's uh, behind you on the, the floor. And uh, let's have one more go. Well, let's keep going until one person is able to, to get close enough to, to land in it. And then they'll be the, the winner. And I guess they might be the, the most likely to, to win the, the game. Well, it's called Go Throw, by the way. I haven't said the, the name. I've decided to call the game Go Throw. I toyed with the idea because you come in here and you're looking up and then you throw it. I had the idea of calling it throw up and then I quickly decided to not call it that and decided to call it go throw no oh William's thrown his right he's going first if I get it in and my next go as well and if he gets it in here I guess it'll be a drop oh he's done it too far again okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same but I'm gonna start from closer forward so only only looking slightly forward but if I start closer to it I guess that'll give me an advantage because because you're in the water in that area, you don't always start from the exact same place. I guess you could if you push yourself against the, the wall, but that generally won't be the case. And oh, not far enough again. We haven't learned from our mistakes, William. I didn't do it far enough and you did it too far again. Why are we so bad at this? Right, let's go again. I'm just going to go out and do it straight again. I think if you do it straight again, then you kind of already have it in your head of what happened last time and you can adjust a little bit better. So last time I did it about this, let's go like this far. So the thing is, I know what I'm going to do. Because I know I'm immediately going to end up doing it too far to, to end too far away from it, which is going to be worse. I need to kind of gradually get closer and closer to it until I'm close enough. And oh, I'm a little bit left, actually. Oh, oh, can I reach? Oh, no! It's so close. It's so, so close. Oh, William, what is... I can, hey, William over here, can you see me, William, I'm, I'm over here, <laughs> I think you went a bit too far, look, let me just take like half a step forward, or not quite, not quite, okay, actually I was quite far away, right, let's keep going, keep going, one of us is going to get it, I feel confident, I feel confident, I'm going to do it on this go, this is going to be the one. This is going to be the one. I have I've done my experimentation. I've done it not far enough. I've done it too far. Let's do it Goldilocks and say this one is going to be just right. So I'm going to land there. Let's look about this far, do you think? Oh, I'm a little bit left again. Ooh, is this... Is this oh, that looks good, actually. Is this good? I think this is good. I think this is... Oh, Williams looks quite good as well, actually. And is either of us going to be close enough? Yes, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in the boat. And we... <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you know the problem, William? You're just too strong. It's all of that digging. It's that you can't not throw it too far. You just wait. And it's all those vegetables that you eat as well. Always eat your vegetables. If you eat your vegetables and dig a lot, you're going to be strong like William Beaver rather than weak and feeble like me that just eats cake all day and doesn't do <laughs> any exercise because the helpers do all of the, the building. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to get it. But hopefully this has been a, a nice example of just how difficult the game's going to be. But of course, there's going to be a bunch of boats and 
even if you don't land close enough to to just uh, to jump in one of their boats you might actually accidentally land close to one of your boats so you can destroy them so uh, yeah it will be a, a little bit more action packed than this little test to go but hopefully that gave you a good demonstration and look at look at luna's little head just poking through the game it always makes me laugh when animals do that anyway though that is going to be uh, the end of this episode here. In the next one, uh, we are going to, uh, hopefully, I think we will, uh, finish off the, the game pretty quickly to have ourselves uh, a test to go. And then it will be, of course, time for our Go Throw tournament. But for now, I want to say a big thank you to, to William for, for helping me out building and uh, testing out the, the game. Big thank you to you for watching, and I will see you uh, later. Bye! Oh, I'm waving, but you can't see in the boat. Bye!